If you have a home office in your house, do you actually use it? Here to help, please welcome certified professional organizer and author of My Life is a Mess, Lisa Giesler. Hello there. <laughs> What I've seen so many times is the home office, women feel like they're punished when they have to go in the yeah. home office. <laughs> they're away, and, and the kitchen becomes this central area for people to be. So the question is, how do you make peace with that? Yeah, yeah. So go ahead and make that spot that you're sitting exactly. down to pay your bills with everything exactly. in the kitchen. So exactly. Instead of having an official home office, making an office space within exactly. that area like the kitchen. Which, another thing, too, is to keep in mind is there are two different types of people. You have pilers and filers. Mm. A lot of people are pilers. I'm a piler. Yeah, I'm a pilot. Because if I file it, it's like out of sight, out of mind. Exactly. Well, you know, when the mail comes in and you need to take care of some of that paperwork, it could go all over the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. My son one time told me, he says, Mama, could you move it out of the way? That's my place to sit. Yeah. And eat. I just want to eat. Yeah. I just want to eat. Okay. So what we do is, what I recommend is, is a nice container, something that's decorative, and you just kind of drop the mail in. But I also believe you take care of it right away. Right. Back with Lisa Giesler, author, speaker, organizer extraordinaire, and the name of your company is uh, Time and Place for Everything. Time and Place for Everything. Now, do you remember what this room looked like before? There was a Christmas wreath. Christmas wreath, I can't even say it. <laughs> Still up there. We had big, huge boxes right, all over right, the place. Right, right. Just kind of. Stuff dumped everywhere. Now, it's only been about 20 or 30 minutes in the show, but thanks to the magic of television, we've been at this for about, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half or so. Since then, we have thrown away a lot of stuff. We threw away some stuff, exactly. Some items needed to be shredded. There were simple things that just needed to be put back where they either to belong. What do you do with your file cabinet? Right. Ugly file cabinet. You don't have a home office. Because they're not cute, really. No, they're yeah. not cute at all. And you don't have a home office, okay? So where are you going to put? And you don't want to sacrifice your closet because your shoes need to go in there. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Priority. So what we have here is a um, two-drawer file cabinet. Everybody's got one. Now, you could either um, purchase one or get a board cut, just a regular piece of board. Now, you can use this as a nightstand. You can use it as an end table in the living room. I had a little piece of custom tablecloth made from Lennon's by Lisa. And what happens is that nobody knows that you have that ugly thing showing. Yeah. So there you go. And it, plus, it gives you double duty. You're right. Exactly. There is a space issue. I exactly. want some decorations on there. I'll be right back. I'm going <laughs> to go get some decorations. Lisa Geisler turned her neat freak ways into cash. I dreamed of wanting to become an organizer about 24 years ago because I loved organizing everybody's closets. I did not realize that I could just organize people and get paid for it. So it's been a pretty exciting journey to help people and have a good business. If I can do it, then anybody can do it. But you, you have to have that dream and you have to believe the dream.